So if you have watched my move from Chrome OS Flex to Chrome OS video, this is kind of similar but the process here is much much easier because I've done all the heavy lifting of creating the Chrome OS recovery images which required either a Linux operating system or Windows so you do not need to be moving to a Linux operating system and can do this just from your Chrome OS Flex PC. So without any further ado, let's start the process. So first of all, visit the link in the description and read the system requirements as there have been some updates regarding the supported processors and uh, now it needs minimum of 6 generation of Intel processor and also here you will find the link to all the recovery images for all the processors so you can simply go ahead click on the link and download it directly so after you have downloaded the recovery image file you will have a RAR file like this and the size would be close to 4 GB so what we need to do is just double click on the file and this is going to open it up and now you will inside see a new file which is size 14 GB and it is an IMG file so just right click and copy it then paste it in the download folder where the original download was now this process will take a long time and you can check out the process at the bottom right corner so just wait for it to finish so we have a new file of 14 GB size here so now we need to rename it so right click and click on rename and add .bin bin in the at the last so do not uh, erase the dot img just add dot bin at the end and save it and you will know the reason why later so now we need to go to the browser and from the extension center we access the chrome web store and from here search for the chromebook recovery utility and install it in your chrome browser now just access the uh, from the extension open up the chrome utility recovery utility and we need to First of all, uh, erase the media. So the, from the gear icon, click on the erase media. And we need a pen drive above 16 GB because we, you can see that 14 GB is the size of the image recovery. Now create like erase the media first of all, so you do not have any issues. Now from the same gear icon, choose the use local media, and then choose the IMG file that we extracted just now. Now select your pen drive, and uh, then start the process, and it will flash start flashing the image file onto the USB drive. Now this process takes a long time, usually around 10 to 15 minutes. So just uh, uh, do not touch it. And then once it's done, what we need to de do is power off our system from the quick toggles. But before that, make sure you back up everything that you have on the Chrome OS Flex and important data. Now you need to press the power button and the BIOS key and make sure you disable the secure boot. And then again, use the boot menu key to access the boot menu then choose your pen drive and you will see this option to so select the first chrome os option now on this screen you will see the loading branch framework and now this screen needs a little bit of patience because it can take up to an hour sometimes depending upon the system but after a long wait you will finally see the chrome os logo and uh, just after that you will see the uh, welcome screen with the setup menu on, on this screen just browse as guest choose and do not add your google account you don't need to just click on browse as guest and then enter the guest mode and on this screen what we will do is press the Control alt and f2 button and once you have done that you will enter the screen now here type chronos and you will log in as chronos now we can run the branch commands so this command will help us to locate our partition size where we will install our chrome os so for me it is the sda and it is going to be the largest size and it's not going to be sda1 sda2 it's going to be the main for me it is the sda so really try to find yours and once you have done that we need to run this command and uh, you need to replace the sda with your own and then type yes yes make sure you do that uh, you can ignore the errors and on this screen it will take a long time to install all the partitions and everything and finally you will see that the chrome os has installed so that means it is all done successful now what you need to do is press the Control alt and f1 key to go back to the guest mode okay i've cleared all the screen now you will see this guest mode now using the quick toggles just uh, press the restart or shutdown i will recommend you shut down from here then remove the pen drive and then uh, start up like power on your device again and this time it's going to quickly power on and you can see the setup screen once again 
so log in with a google account and everything and you can start enjoying the google play store on the chrome os so this is the only way for now to use the google apps on the chrome os flex and it's not chrome os flex but it is like a upgraded version of it so take it as you will but uh, this is how you can get the google play store working so this video took a long time to make creating all the files and everything so i will highly appreciate you if you like this video and share among your friends and you can check that it has installed and it is using the entire memory and so that was it for this video if you have any questions uh, be free to leave them in the comments and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching